here tonight. Okay, it looks to me like, now I'm not a dance aficionado, but it looks like square dancing going on back there. Am I correct or not so much? Yeah, well actually this is called contra dancing. It's New England style country dancing. But you're right in the fact that many of the moves are square dance moves. The do -si dos the circles, the ladies chain, they're all borrowed from square dancing. But we just do it in a little different formation. Awesome. Now explain to us what contra, or where'd that derive from? Yeah, well it's not a subversive activity. Yeah. It's, it's good, clean <laughs> fun, really. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And so it, you said it was kind of a, the precursor to square dancing. That's right. It came over from the British Isles and in New England they danced in long halls with narrow halls and so they danced in long lines, kind of like English country dancing. Nice. So it's in New England country dancing. So contra is a, you know, a kind of a form of country or it also could borrow from the French contra, which is opposite your partner. So there's not real uh, surety as to what the origin of that word is, but it could be either one. So take your pick. Well, you learn something new every day. Well, explain to us what's going on here tonight because you guys do this quite often. That's right. We do every first Saturday of the month. We're here at the Whittier Center in Logan and anyone can come. No partner needed. Anyone can come and enjoy themselves. The little ones to, you know, whatever age is welcome to come and dance. And okay. so there's definitely kind of a wide array of ages here tonight exactly. and everyone's having fun. And like you said, you don't have to be a pro because a lot of these people, maybe this is their first time dancing. That's right. I know several people. This is their very first time to dance this kind of dance. Dancing, but we teach every single dance and so there's comfort in that fact that we repeat the moves and they get to know it really well. It looks like again everyone's having a great time. Now this is, is this put on by the Bridger Folk Music Society, correct? Yes, it is. Uh huh. It is. Yeah. And explain what that means to you, having such a great program like them, uh, being helping out with you. Well, they're really supportive, and they help us, you know, advertise and get the word out, and you know, really encourage people to come. It, it helps. Uh, you know, get the folk arts really popular and, you know, in the people's minds when they want to do something. It's just good, clean fun. And that it is. Yeah. I want to talk to Rod for a second. You were uh, actually one of the founding members of it. Yeah, I founded 1979, a long time ago. Explain to us what's taken place over the years. You know, how it started out and what it's become today. We were looking for, we were looking for ways of bringing in uh, traditional music and uh, uh, folk music into the valley. That wasn't something that was easy to come by here. Plus the fact we tried to uh, bring the musicians out of the closets and run jam uh, jams and workshops and so forth. Uh, it was hard to find that and when I first came to the valley. So. But it's turned into a great success. Yeah, it's been, we've been doing it 30 years and uh, I think we've had I don't know how many. Uh, we have this, this, we have a poster we just put out uh, and we've got all of the names of the performers that we've had over the years. Been a lot of well-known ones like uh, Brian Bowers and uh, John McCutcheon and uh, Jack Elliott and uh, um, all sorts of big names. Oh, yeah, there's just a long list of them, and it's been very rewarding. And I'm sure it's great for the musician having a company like Bridger Folk Music Society where they can come and play. Yes, so they have a place to. Oh, we also do the house various size concerts, all the way from uh, the big concert halls to the uh, Whittier Center here, and house concerts and so forth, depending on on who's available and what what they can do. So. 30 years in, still going strong? Yeah, still going strong. So That's what we like to hear. And you've got a couple of great events coming up. Eric, I'll talk to you about these. Uh, first one we want to talk about is the infamous String Dusters. For folks who have never heard of these guys, tell us what they're all about. Okay, the infamous String Dusters are a band out of Nashville. And basically they're a bunch of hot young guys that play really hot, fast bluegrass and newgrass. They've kind of taken bluegrass to a new level, and so they've taking it to uh, hot instrumentals and great harmonies and just they're a real top-notch band out of Nashville and they played here in Utah a couple years ago at, uh, at the Snowbird Folk and Bluegrass Festival and we're trying to bring them back because we know that yeah. after seeing them I wanted to share them with the Cash Rally folks and let them see what a great band we have. And of course we got to mention uh, one of the favorites in town, Celtic Night. Uh, that's turned into pretty much a, a tradition in town. Yeah, the Celtic Night is a great fundraiser for some of the local uh, nonprofit organizations like the Humane Society, 
and Four Paws and some of those type of organizations. So it's a, it's a great way to go out and enjoy some great Celtic music as well as supporting some great causes here in the Valley that, that need some help. So Excellent. Is there a website or phone number people can go to to get in contact with you guys or to find out about the dates, times, prices of these events? Yeah, for all the things involving Bridger Folk, just remember bridgerfolk.org and it's on the web there and you can find the information about all the things that we do from contra dancing to the concerts to to the jams and everything else that goes on that's involved with Bridger folks. So. Awesome, all sorts of things. Okay, really quick, I want to come back to you one more time. Every The first Saturday of every month you do the contra dancing here at the Whittier Center. That's right, and we also have a weekend at Lava. We call it the Lava Met Meltdown. So that's the first weekend in March every year where we have guest callers and guest bands as well. So there's awesome. always something to do if you want to dance. Well, there you go. Can't say it any better than that. Bridger Folk Music Society, 30 years strong. Come out, enjoy the contra dancing and all the other events. Guys, thanks for talking with me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.